the curtain. Pay attention to the woman behind the curtain. <laughs> the king is coming. I got a message that the king was coming to my house. Oh my gosh. The fancy royal king. Where do we know a king and where do they come from? Maybe you're thinking of the queen of England or princes from the Middle East or other far off lands. Kings or princes or queens are just so wonderful. And I don't have daughters, but I can imagine that we would watch many princess movies if I did. And they have long, beautiful hair and dresses and they're so beautiful and wonderful and what if one was coming to your house well one is coming to my house i got a i got a voicemail on my landline and it was from a while ago because i had almost never checked the voicemails on my landline and they said the king was coming to my house but here's the problem my house is very messy and so I need to get a broom. You guys, I have so much joy in my life finding things in this church. <laughs> I need a broom because my kids are messy. And I am messy. And my floors are messy. And there's crumbs everywhere. And even when I finish, somehow they're messy again. And I would need to probably clean my toilets. Ah, I have two toilets. I wonder how old this toilet brush is. It was in the janitor closet. I would need to clean my toilets because the king is coming to my house and I don't know when. And I would need to dust with this fancy spray and, and wipe things down because the king is coming. And this, I think, is for tall things. Maybe, can you tell I don't do the cleaning in my house? And then not only... Not only my house, oh my goodness, if the king was coming to my house and I don't know when, I would need to get ready myself. I would, I would need to maybe put some deodorant on. The king is coming and maybe spray myself with some fancy perfume. And I would need to brush my teeth. This is going to get a new toothbrush tonight because it's also in the same bag. Thank you, husband, for bringing this to me as the toy, as the toe and nail brush. I would want to be perfect and ready when the king is coming, but I don't know when he's coming. But I know that the royal king is coming to my house. And you know what? I'm not scared. I'm not nervous. I'm going to do my very, very best to prepare myself and my home and my family for the king. Friends, we are celebrating Advent. Can everyone say Advent? Advent. Advent. And Advent is this period of time where we wait. And there are two Advents in the Bible. The first was a really long time, and God was quiet. And they waited for Jesus to come. And I asked the kids a couple weeks ago, and kids too, where did Jesus live before he was born? And I really stumped them. They had some good ideas. Maybe in Jerusalem, or maybe in... I, they had lots of ideas. But do you know where Jesus lived before he came to Bethlehem? He lived in heaven. He was in heaven. He was the royal prince king in heaven. And he put down his crown... And he came to earth in a stinky stable for us, to visit us. And friends, there's a second advent, a second time that Jesus is going to come and be with us. And Pastor John is going to tell us about that, about the time right now that we are preparing for baby Jesus and the time when we least expect it where Jesus will come from the sky and he will come as king resurrected, mighty to save us for all eternity. 
So as we celebrate Advent and we light our candles, we think in our minds and in our hearts, what do I need to clean? What do I need to dust or mop or sweep? What crumbs are in my life that I need to tidy up before Jesus comes? And do you know what? Jesus is not going to come when we're all perfect because we can never be perfect. But Advent is a season where we quiet our hearts and we pray and we thank God that even though things are hard, Jesus is coming. And guess what he's coming for? Us. That is good news of great joy. Will you pray with me? Oh God, thank you for two advents. One where Jesus comes from heaven as a baby and one where Jesus comes to earth to bring his people full restoration, full reconciliation. God, would you help us be quiet? God, would you help us think about our sin and our dirtiness or our untidiness so that we can prepare to celebrate Christmas and we can prepare for the day Jesus will come again. Amen. If you are four years